What's going on, folks? I'm Automatic. I've been waking up for the past three days. I've been turning on the stream. I've been watching some matches and I've been doing some research. And it's been great. I've been learning a lot. Uh, I've been getting a lot of ideas from the stream. I've been uh, learning a lot from the experience and the interaction. So I'm going to start a series. I'm going to call it the AM Thinking Cup. AM for Automatic and Morning. <laughs> so I just wake up and do some, do some lab work, basically, and watch matches and learn a lot. So I want to share some of those things, and maybe I'll post the archive as well, but uh, a condensed version, there's three things in my notes that I want to talk about specifically, and it's, it has to do with vanishes, two H's, and some reflect properties. Uh, actually, more, more, more so, it's, it's about reflect, to be honest, and the two H punishes. So let's get into it. So the, the, the vanish itself, we have to start with that. If you block vanish on the ground, you, you have advantage as the person who attacked them, if they block it. So you want to find ways to set this up to where they can't escape it. So if you keep them in a block zone with something such as a key blast, they can't do anything in between this. If you do a raw vanish, then they can 2-H you for this. They can anti you. So I'm recording the, the vanish itself, and if I see this in neutral, I can 2-H it, no problem. But if I put something behind it, like a key blast, that key blast is gonna it's gonna keep me in block stun, and I can't do anything. I have to block. I can't even hold forward to intentionally take the hit, right? I can't do anything. I'm stuck blocking. I'm doing every single direction I possibly can. I'll do a Street Fighter V Raging Demon input, <laughs> and I'll get a reflect, but we're about to talk about that now. Actually, I'm kind of curious if I do this or this work. Uh, if I do a... If I do a uh, Sparking. <laughs> no, but Vanish works, and that's, that's not effective, but that's interesting. So what I'm getting at is you can cancel the block stun of a Key Blast with Reflect. So, I can demonstrate this pretty easily with uh, Vegeta. So, Vegeta, if you hold S, you get a series of Key Blasts. So, while I'm blocking those Key Blasts, I can cancel my, my blocks on with Reflect. Now, you can't do this with Beans, uh, even even um, Vegeta's, what is it, 236S? If he does that, I can't cancel with Reflect. I can't cancel. So, I have to accept that. So, that makes this a good case. This is fine. If I vanish behind that, that is a good situation for Vegeta to be in. But if you were doing what I was doing before with Beerus, a Key Blast into Vanish, although they are stuck in Block Stun, you can still cancel your Block Stun with the Reflect. So I'm stuck in Block Stun, but I can, I can cancel that with the Reflect. Therefore, I can get rid of the situation. They will not have advantage after that Vanish. So yeah, there's, there, there's plenty of things to discuss post-Vanish on block. There's plenty of things to discuss. And that's not to say that this is bad. It's just there's an answer for it. Because if this hits, you're still able to uh, get to the ground, the, uh, the wall bounce. Etc, etc, right? Etc, etc. But if they block it, you can reflect out of it. Apparently you can super dash as well, and there's probably something to look into that as well. What if they empty Vanish and you super dash? That might be okay. But uh, yeah, you can reflect at a key blast, and if they vanish, you can you can neutralize. I guess you can say with reflect. I think that's great. So another thing about reflect is it sort of has an auto correct if they switch sides while you're reflecting. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna call the Vegeta assist and then go behind. I'm gonna reflect it. Whoops. <laughs> you gotta do it again. You gotta do it again. Who knows where that's from? Uh, so... Vegeta assist. <laughs> We're having technical difficulties. Alright, one more try. Call him. Record it. Go behind. Alright, so I'm going to reflect this. And then that time I switched. I switched directions. I went from, what is that, 6S to 4S. Now this time I'm gonna do, what, 4S and then 4S. And you'll see what happens. You'll see what I mean. I'm facing the wrong way, but it still has the same effect. So typically, if you do anything but back S after you reflect, it won't go into another reflect. You have to hold back S. But in this scenario, either direction is fine as long as you're not doing neutral S. Now, it seems like there's a there's a point where he's crossing you up where this doesn't apply. So if I'm... Actually, if I'm mashing it, I'll just get the uh, reflect. So if I do this, and then... I don't know. There, there's a point there where I can mash on S, and then I'll get hit. But the, what was worth noting to me is that either direction can be fine, as long as I'm canceling the reflect. It's really weird. Alright, so the next thing I want to talk about is... Um, 
Punishing 2H, which is the anti-air. So, mm, I, I want to say a lot of people, but I'll just speak for myself. Speak for myself. I'll end certain block strings with 2H just to extend it, and if it potentially hits, I get the conversion, etc., etc. But 2H is unsafe on block, or well, at least from what I've seen, uh, and from the with the data that I've seen, uh, Ginyu's 2H is safer, but still unsafe. It's like negative 13 or something. Do not quote me on that. But his is better than the, in, in terms of negativity, it's better than the rest of them that I've seen. So it's still it's still better, but it's still punishable, right? And I'll demonstrate with uh, Ginyu. <laughs> So he is blocking immediately. I do have the setting on guard all. So as soon as the recording finishes, or and I and I block after this, he's gonna block immediately. But it is unsafe if I time this early enough. He can't block that. So what what I want to demonstrate is that if I use a level three, which has invincibility, and as long as it's in range and fast enough, it'll punish. So if they cancel into something because I have invincibility, uh, it'll also punish their options. From what I can see, it'll punish their options. So if they do something such as super dash. Or they cancel into a special move that leaves a, a a window of time where you leave blocks on them. It should punish that unless they had unless that special move has an interesting property in itself. Actually, I'm kind of curious if you have a really slow invincible move that would challenge this. But in any case, they do this 2H and they super dash. I'll punish that. If they do nothing, I'll punish it. So they have to do something that keeps me in blocks on. Otherwise, it seems like this punish is pretty good. Now, you, what, I, what I was wondering is if they did 2H and Vanish, what would happen? So if there is still a gap between it, it seems like I can do both. I can do... Uh, I can punish it, but there's also a screen freeze during the Vanish. So that's going to eat my input, so I won't waste it. Right? Something like that. I do the level 3, and then I do another level 3 the other way. <laughs> because there's a gap between the 2H and the Vanish. Now, I don't think I can 2H here. I think the gap is too small. I can't 2H there. So I need an invincible move, or I need to reflect. And reflecting is a little bit challenging here. A little bit challenging, but it should be possible. Chong! There we go. There, That actually might be a one or, at, at best, two frame window. I think it's going to be a one frame window. And that also demonstrates that 2H is not upper body invincible on the first frame. Because I'm countering it during this. I leave... I leave block stun, but I'm also counter it. So yeah, uh, I, I am going to um, experiment experiment with this a lot with Cell on my team, maybe even Frieza. But Beerus, I wouldn't use it because my level three is too far away to punish it. And Beerus's level three won't uh, grab them in the air. This won't work. They need to be grounded unless I'm comboing this, and which kind of sucks. <laughs> it's, it's bad news bears for Beerus. I gotta use Reflect or this move. I think that's it. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, there was something that I, it's in the back of my mind. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, if they vanish. If they do 2H and then vanish in response to your level 3. Let me let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna... Oh, can I do it? I think I, think I can do it with Vegeta. You know we gotta do live lab work whenever I do a, a video. You know, you know what it is. So what I'm going to do is program a level 3 with Vegeta. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. This will be the last thing I... <laughs> this will be the last thing I learned today, even though there's a couple other things. Alright, so I'm matching on a level 3. I get that program. I'm going to do a 2H. Hopefully, I can get a reversal with uh, Vegeta. And, you know, his might actually be too slow to demonstrate this properly. I'm going to try to vanish. I can't vanish, and that wasn't even a reversal. But let's do it a few more times to be sure, because we're good scientists, right? We want to see that reversal. There it is! That's a reversal. I'm going to try to vanish. I cannot vanish. As slow as his as his level 3 seemed like it was, I still can't vanish to save myself in that situation. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can sparking. <laughs> now I'm curious. This is new information. This is a live test. I have no idea what's going to happen. So I'm going to do a 2H and then try to sparking. Sparking might get punished. It is invincible, but you're vulnerable on the way down. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Give me that reversal. Okay, here we go. Give me the sparking! It punished the sparking. I activated it, but it punished the recovery of it. Sick! Okay, that's it for now. <laughs> that's it for now. I hope you learned something. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Especially, let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, tell me where I'm wrong. And if there's anything new, if you have a different uh, different answer or solution, that's that's awesome too. And even if you're wrong, that's, that's still fine. Being wrong is okay. And, uh, you know, I forgot if I said anything or everything already, but like, comment, um... 
Yeah, that's it. I hope you learned something. I'm automatic.